106.7 Light FM. 106.7 Light FM. Cubby and Christine, welcome to the building once again. The amazing Joey McIntyre. Yay. Hey. Yay. All right, Joey, you have 18 things to promote. We're going to leave, okay? <laughs> yeah. We're going to leave the room. 18. And you, you have 18 things to promote. We're going to... You just go. You're run him down. No question. You're for gonna you. go. Okay. Go. Great. All right. Grab a coffee. <laughs> so, um, L- let's start with Thanksgiving because you're going to be a part yeah. of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. I hear. Very cool. Yeah. And, and doing uh, your new song. Doing my new song, a brand new Christmas, which is very exciting. We wrote that song for my Christmas movie, Jingle Bell Love. But on that song, uh, I convinced Shoshana Bean. Uh, two-time Tony nominee in the last three years, actually. Mm-hmm. She's amazing. So we sing that song. And, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving Day Parade, we'll be singing it in front of Macy's and on the float. And um, it's just that classic New York Thanksgiving holiday. So very excited. Yeah. That is really exciting. We were saying you have so many things going on. Like we yeah. said, 18, maybe more. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got the, – the song is for your movie, which is going to yeah. be on Roku, right? Yes, and this, Roku channel. And yeah. this is like one of those Christmas romance yes. feel-good – Yes, yes. I mean, Roku – everybody has Roku TVs, maybe a Roku stick. You can actually go to RokuChannel.com and get – it's free. So it's okay. just a couple of commercials, but it's free. Um, and they're starting to do original content. So uh, a friend of mine in L.A. Uh, wrote this – movie was one of the writers on the movie it was like you want to do it i'm like yeah sure next thing you know we're in montreal shooting this great movie and it's lovely it's really sweet i'm very excited where's about the it. song in the movie is it is, what is it where no, is where is it like placed well it's he's he's sort of used to be a music guy but he's uh he's, he's a single parent now so he's got to get a regular job and uh he's in real estate and so he goes back to the small town and and ends up kind of falling in love in by way of not trying to take over someone's business and music is involved and it kind of brings him back into music and okay. he has this song that he hasn't finished writing and, and that's the song and by the end they finish the song and the, the, everything is saved. Yeah, everything right. is <laughs> wrapped up in a bow. No spoilers though. No spoilers. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just in time for Christmas. Yeah. You've got yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> you need yeah, that's that awesome. vibe. That's awesome. And now you're also doing Broadway. Yeah, off Broadway technically. Uh, yes, okay. it's it's on fiftieth and eighth, so it's in the heart of it, and it's a yeah. bigger uh, off Broadway house. It's called Drag the Musical, and uh, I'm a theater kid, grew up in theater, yeah. so uh, you have to want to do eight shows a week, and I do. It's it's a beautiful grind, and um, I originated the role, so it's the first role in New York that I originated. And as a theater kid, it's kind of like a box, you know, you want to check and it's great. A lot of people think drag the musical is it a drag brunch? No. It's it's <laughs> it's like full on musical book score, amazing, a lot of heart, a lot of fun. And, you know, thankfully the reviews have been great and, you know, people are showing up. Yeah, we want to see it. Now, my understanding is you're only in the show through December 9th? December 9th, which is weird. Okay, Being so a we theater kid moving. originating and then you're leaving a mm. hit show. I don't know what I'm doing. Was but, that your uh, call? Was what? that your I call? Gotta, uh, what's that? Was that your call? No, or? Yeah, no, this is my call. Yeah, you they, Christmas they, with the family, maybe? Christmas with the family. I got, you know, I got other projects, Correct. you know, happening. And uh, the good news is I have literally a Broadway legend taking over for me, uh, Adam Pascal, who's, oh. you know, was... Famously mm-hmm. started in Rent and mm-hmm. has done a ton of stuff. Great guy. So it says a lot about the show and it says a lot about me, frankly. It says how good I am that a legend needs to take over for my part. And that's what I like about it. Hey, the last time you were here with the guys back, I believe, spring, Yeah, I believe you yep. broke it on our radio show that you're going to be doing a whole residency in Las sure. Vegas. Yes. Is that still on for 2025? Yeah, You haven't got your tickets yet? I, I actually do, but, Jeez. you know, um, June How many 2025, rocks right? do you live under? <laughs> are, are you excited about this? I mean, if you, are you prepping? Is it, uh, do you yes, do that actually, the- yeah. I mean, we've already had a call, you know, starting the conversations. Um, you know, it is you know, six months or so out. And, um, you know, it's something we've never done. You know, Vegas is, you get all the bells and whistles, you know, and everything at your disposal to make an amazing show. And we actually know, at the same time, we know that what we bring to the, I mean, frankly, when we played the iHeart concert, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, we love all those artists. And, and the, the the production value was incredible. But, like, what we bring to the table is hit the stage and just have a party and engage with the crowd and and I think you know that's that's what we bring to the table. So we'll definitely do that, but 
to to imagine that you know we have the lifts and we have the all the pyro all the stuff that you would imagine from a Vegas show. So it's going to be fun and challenging. Yeah, June 2025. Can't yeah. wait. Before yeah. that, you're going to hang out with us. Yes. Right? With Cubby, me, Helen, Light FM. What? Do you know what? you're going to be? Okay, so <laughs> yes. we flipped there a the switch. switch involved? There's yes. a switch involved. Yes. yes. And this radio station goes all Christmas. I love it. And you're going to be a part of the big event with us uh, at Radio City Music Hall. I love it. So. I love it. I must have a really good promo guy, like a legendary <laughs> promo guy. Joe Riccatelli! There's only... Yeah. There's That's only one way I get that gig, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, otherwise I'd be in the crowd going, Cubby! <laughs> <laughs> nice. hey, what's but your... Joe has me up on stage flipping a switch. Give me some of your favorite Christmas songs, uh, like oh, growing man. up. Like, give me well, some classics I that did, you love. You know, I do have a, years ago I got a Christmas album, and of course I love this new single, but uh, what would I go to? Oh man, there's so many good ones. Uh, Are you a classic guy, like the Bing Crosby? Yes, and... but see, the 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 newer one that, that he did, remember the one he did with David Bowie? Yeah. Uh, Peace on her. Yes. Can it be? Mm-hmm. Um, as me and Jordan did that on my solo album, but that's a classic. <laughs> nice. It's like a, a mashup of Drummer Boy and and that new one. Um, Have yourself a made a little Christmas is mm-hmm. is kind of classic. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so many. What do you get? What you guys? This one's go- for the children. My that, favorite. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was that that's was funny because bar- was that a Christmas song? Because I mean, I played the heck out of it. Yeah. It ca- I, it came out around that time. Yeah. But this well, one's for the children. You, you had to. The you had. You had. I mean. Swifties had nothing on Blockheads back then, no, right? They called not. the station. They said, "If you don't play a new kid song, it was crazy. We're gonna find you." In you fact, know? we, we yeah. brought back "Didn't I Blow Your Mind?" Exactly. That single didn't do well, and then it, at first, years later, and yeah. years later, it came yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this yeah. one's for the children. Was a great song. Yeah, it was fun. It yeah. was it was a Christmas vibe, vibe. you know, come yeah. together and yeah. Um, Danny Wood can't stand that song, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad you even it out. You, okay, even yeah. it out. you and, like and it. Danny's he not here, so yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, and then because uh, I want to make sure we get everything, you also have a new album coming. Yes, out. my mm-hmm. new album uh, is gonna pre-order is November 25th, and it comes out January 24th, and. Um, I'm very, very excited about it. And, you know, I'm just, it's really, it's called freedom. And uh, it's a big, big term, but I think it's really, you know, freedom can mean so many different things, you know. And for me, I think it's really just carving out space and time to do, um, express myself in my own way, which is, uh, it's a nice balance to strike because I've been so lucky in so many other things, obviously new kids, but um Making music is important to me and haven't made an album in a while, but I'm very excited about it. Unreal. Oh, that Thank sounds you. great. Told you he was busy. Oh, yeah. Wait, there, but wait, there's more. But yeah, wait, there's, there's only, more. yeah, we're wait, only at, more. We're, we're only at 12. Okay. Yeah. This is a big, Six you should more. be paying for this, thing. right? This yeah. is actually a commercial. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Joe hasn't paid you yet? Uh, oh, I, I, this is 1979. He said, you grease me, I grease, no. Those days are over. We can't joke about that. I was never a part of those days either. Okay. Yes, you're in the clear. I'm in the clear. All right. But yeah, Wicked, right? Like the biggest movie opening right now. Yes. So have I guess you don't have time. I would think they would invite you to the premieres. You were yes. you were part of was it the original stage Not well, production? I was the second Fierro actually. Uh. So I uh but I still did it uh Adina Menzel had just won the Tony. So I did 6 months with her with my Broadway debut in Wicked and it wow. was as you can imagine back then it was almost as big as it is now. I mean it's amazing. Um and it's really funny enough, you know, you can go as a New Yorker and one of the many things you can do. There's There's a library of the performing arts. It's right in Lincoln Center. And if you get a library card, you can go in there, and they have the film of every Broadway show. What? Oh. Ever. It's unbelievable. You can actually- It's called YouTube, dude. No, but, but no, it's not. That, that, that version is uh, right, right, crusty right. from the balcony. Yeah, These right. are legit. Hidden, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. This is like Archive a three camera. Stuff. I mean, it's still, the sound is great, though, and um, I'm showing my vanity, but I went into the library, and, the, you know, where do I start? And I was like, I'd like to watch Wicked, please. <laughs> and they were like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't show anything that's still running. And I said, well- <laughs> <laughs> What if you were in the Fierro and the, you know, because they filmed it like about a year in and I was still in it. Okay. And um, anyways, I saw it and it's uh, the original cast. And it's really, like I said, the legacy is amazing. The movie's going to be huge. They're cutting it into two versions, yeah. right? I mean, act mm-hmm. one and act two almost. Mm-hmm. And um, it's it's really, really cool. And, you know, once you're in part of that 
family it's pretty awesome it's pretty I'm, wicked I'm told man. you were like yeah voted or nominated best fiero yes like, like, yes yeah. you know i tried to vote as many times as i could until they just said your limit you know limit i you can vote 20 times i think and then they said stop voting this is weird and um yeah people.com i think there was four of us it was tay diggs me uh the guy who's playing in the movie and who else someone else but uh I don't know. It should be out now. Who won? The guy from the movie? We, get, we have to look it up. Because you got John Krasinski is the, the sexiest yes. man. man alive. So part of that, they right. did all this, the sexiest Fierro. So I've I don't just know. been told, by the way, in the last 10 minutes that we've been in the room, you've had four more gigs booked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're yes. doing. I'm uh, writing a book. and uh, Bowl, uh, You're doing the Super Bowl halftime show. And I'm shooting a <laughs> biopic. And it's doing a biopic. Uh, about you. About Okay, yeah. yes. Exactly. Did we pitch it to you yet? Yeah. Joe huh? said you'd say yes. <laughs> You say yes to everything. Yes. You haven't said no in 20 years. No, I haven't. I haven't. That's why we're friends. <laughs> but I believe we covered everything. Yes. Where can people find you? If, if they want more Joey McIntyre, are you more of a Twitter guy, Instagram guy, Facebook? Instagram. Instagram. I, You know, Twitter's a bad neighborhood, bro. You, you got to you gotta, you gotta be packing or have some backup. <laughs> you know, Instagram's like the suburbs. You know what I mean? Right. You pull through, you're like, hey, buddy. People right. are mowing their lawn. You know what I mean? You stop at a Starbucks, get a coffee. Yeah, I mean, I mean Twitter is, Twitter is yeah. bad Cars news. Cars on cinder blocks. Bad and, news. Yeah. I mean, I haven't. I but if I, it's an easy link. You throw up links there. You know what I mean. But they know how to find me. I, I, Instagram isn't as interactive. Um, I get that, but it's just easier. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's and you're at Joey McIntyre. At Joey McIntyre. Yeah. Yes, that's right. M C I N T Y R E, not Reba. Reba spells it. Oh, oh yeah, that's way. right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's how I spell it. Joey McIntyre! Hey! hey! We, we got to 18. You. That was 18 things. 18 yes. things right here on Light FM. 106.7.